hello students welcome to edusen so in this video we are going to discuss why we are taking non negative cost or you can say positive cost so to get that first of all ask for the question we have to solve to find a recurrence relation or the below code we have to find uh, before going into this uh, answer uh, it's my request to those who are new for this question answer uh, session or problem solving videos kindly check the detailed videos if you are new to this video so in detailed video i have told you like how to get it how to get the time complexity as well as complexity how to get the recurrence relation so let let us start with the recurrence relation in recurrence relation whenever we are writing so it based on the recursion why recursion because we cannot detect easily the number of times the function is getting called though we cannot find it is rather we can find it in uh, uh, we can find the time complexity or any any complexity easily like time complexity is easily in uh, iteration but space complexity is for both the case we can find if if recursion is used we can say stack is getting used those stack is getting used the number of times the indices that we are using so it could be big of n in general we are getting in recursion why because recursion is using stack that i told you in the detailed video and in iteration based on the array if you are taking array so you can take a space as n but depending on the code we can say the space complexity it is easy to do not worry about that one but while finding the space a uh, time complexity we are having a problem like in uh, finding the time complexity we may have problem like how many times the function is getting called so for that reason we have a proper formula or mathematical formula where we can go for any assumption Uh, by saying we have reached at our base condition then only we can find like as there are four methods as you have already studied in the detailed video if you have already gone through so there are iteration methods uh, a substitution method master theorem as well as the recursion tree method that we studied in that case we can easily find out like why we are uh, going towards the base all things that i have already written but still our concept for this video our main content for creating of this video is So why the cost we are taking as non-negative? This is our reason. So you can say for this we say this is t of n. So if you can ask me why t of n, please go to the detailed video. There we can get everything easily. Within that we can say the function we are assuming as t of n. Suppose t of n, you can write p of n also, not an issue. But the naming convention should be correct. Why we are writing t of n? The main reason is time we are writing. To represent the time we are writing t of n. If condition is running for one time, that you know either yes or or. So in that case, yes or no. For that case, we are using one. So for print n by two, though we write print n as t of n, so we are writing n by two. And here, as for the iteration method, we can say i is getting multiplied with two, 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 and up to n times we are running. So as for this, we can say log base to n, and n we have written like n will be the last one and multiply with two. so that's why we say i'm saying it directly right now in this video please go to the detailed video the the proper description is there next the one so here the total combination will be the t of n so that is why if whatever the codes that you are writing within that we are actually adding it to find t of n though we are adding it that is why the cost is non negative here how we can say the cost what is cost here you can check n T of n, the value of T of n will be like one plus T n by two plus log n base two plus one. In general, if you can say, as per the, uh, I'm writing in the next part. Like if condition is there, how to write the recurrence relation? First of all, we have to uh, generalize it. Like the function, we have to write as a first. Next, the lowest one, which is as compared to the function which function we cannot know what's the value that's why we are <coughs> solving that one okay so 1 plus 1 i'm just writing it to so here whenever you are simplifying it so the cost is it's a constant and here is logarithmic so definitely we are removing constant for a while as as this is a theoretical thing we can go for all types of assumption that's why we are writing so tn by 2 log n to so here the cost is cost is logarithmic cost cost we are getting and here we are not able to expect any minus sign there 
because of this reason we are actually adding it if in case you are getting such questions that also I, i'll be creating the next video there and the next video will have the same scenario if minus will be there then whether we'll solve it or not clear that time we'll discuss but though here asked to the question it is written like find the recurrence relation i'm simply writing t of n will be like t n by 2 plus log n base 2 if if condition is there within that if condition if n is greater than 1 then only it could be possible otherwise uh, the base condition is not written the base condition if it is not written you can say uh, like opposite sign could be there or else you can write if n will be 1 it's by default uh, either you can write this because this condition will n greater than 1 as well as n equal to 1 this is what we are finding so that's why i'm just writing in such a way or or sometimes you can say otherwise okay so otherwise it's written better for the base condition always remember always remember you should put the value why i'm taking one because whenever i think you have gone through the detailed video there for some division is there so you should write one if you are finding the base condition of it why because if you are putting zero whenever you are approaching for a solution that time zero if you are multiplying with suppose n to the power 2 to the power k you please go through a detailed video uh, after the detailed video you may find this one if it is zero na, so n will be zero n will be zero means a problem will occur that is why if here is one so you can say n will be 2 to the power k the value of 2 to the, uh, the value of k is like log n base 2 this is what you may find after the approach i'm not uh, discussing that one but due to one we are writing or sometimes if you are getting some minus value you can say n uh, minus 1 t of 1 suppose something is written so in this case best case will be if n equal to 0 why because sometimes you will get n minus k as 0 where you are writing n equal to k if it is 1 minus k if you are instead of that 0 suppose you have written 1 so what will happen like n minus k equal to 1 so n equal to k plus 1 so the might be problem will occur we can say it's constant we can say it's a constant so we can say uh, what k plus 1 is equivalent to k but why for assumption again assumption again assumption better to solve it we are writing for minus case we are taking 0 for division case we are putting 1 so this is how we have created the uh, we have generated or we have built or developed the mathematical formula or recurrence relation for the above question i hope you have understood it thank you for watching have a good day